Alright guys, we're here with some Skyrim on PC and we are going to be checking out a player home called Cozy Home and it's made by Homer. So this is behind Swindler's Den and um, if you're having trouble finding this place, you can just open up your console command and type in COC space Swindler's Den exterior and it should take you, you know, to the nearby area. So once you're here, you may need to fight a bandit that's right outside the cave guarding the place. But once you're done with him, you just head behind the cave and up the mountain and you should see the house shortly after. The home is to the east of Swindler's Den on the map. It really isn't hard to find. So when I first approached this place, the door was locked and I didn't know where to get the key. And even on the mods page, it also didn't explain how to get the key. However, in the screenshots, there was a picture showing that the key is actually on the floor and in front of the door. So <laughs> I actually saw it there and decided to pick it up. And once you enter the house, you see that the inside has, you know, a lot of areas that are neatly and nicely snugged in place to keep the place you know having that small and cozy feel and uh, I really like the position of you know some of these areas especially the followers room um, what stood out to me immediately when I first approached this place was the doors and the windows uh, I thought that there was some kind of custom mesh but after looking into the mods files it looks like it's all from in-game assets so these are really nice you know i really enjoy these doors the kitchen is also placed nicely with a fireplace that has a small script to light up when you add some firewood to it upstairs there's a mannequin enchanting and alchemy tables a small living space and the master bedroom the way everything fits in here to make it very useful while still keeping the house small is my favorite feature about this mod there's a shrine statue or whatever you call it in the bedroom which I think should be removed for roleplay purposes because you wouldn't want to have something like a Thalmor sleeping with Talos at his bedside, you know, because that would be kind of weird. So there's another door that leads outside to the balcony where there's some benches for you to sit and get a view of the tundra. And any workbench that wasn't present inside of the home will most likely be present in the workspace to the right. So this area has a lot of your useful workbenches like the smelter, the forge, and sharpening wheel, and the other goodies like that. So also behind the actual house, there are some garden plots so you can plant alchemy ingredients and vegetables for eating. So you will most likely need the Hearthfire DLC in order to use this mod. So I think this mod is really great. I enjoy the design a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of the location because of how close it is to Swindler's Den, but the way it was placed in the mountains with the workspace is very creative. This is one of those mods that I may use for a future playthrough. So if you want to try this mod out yourself, I will provide the link in the description below so you can go ahead and download it. I want to thank you all for tuning in and I will see you later.